Hello, good and wonderful people. You are welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, all depending on where you are watching from. So, three Fulani healthmen has been arrested in Ondo State by the Amotekun cops for allegedly kidnapping a man. This is very terrible. Before we go into the news in full details, if you're just watching for the first time or you have been watching without subscribing, please do me a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting me here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen and this news here reads amotekun ghost stuff on bandit arrested three suspected fulani headsmen in ondo state the Ondo State Security Outfit, also referred to as Amotekun, has trapped three people, believed to be elements of a kidnap mob terrorizing the state. It was gathered that the culprits were apprehended on Wednesday after allegedly kidnapping a man, Mr. Kunle Agbeyewa, in Idoani, Ose local government area of the state. The ugly incident occurred in Idoani. Almost 24 hours after Dr. Olufemi Adeogu, the medical director of the General Hospital and two other head staff were kidnapped by the hooligans. Based on a source, the suspect raided a Somi and pulled Agbeyewa at gunpoint before carrying him away to an unspecified destination. A native of the community, Comfort Ilesami, who testified the kidnapping, stated that the suspect were allegedly hexmen who had been seen wandering about the street of the town. She stated the hexmen entered the Somi and kidnapped him immediately, but people around quickly raised alarm and invited the security men. Responding, Mr. Adetunji Adeleye, who is the commander of Amotekun Corps in the state, ascertained the incident and stated the victim was saved immediately after he was abducted by the suspect. He said, our men led the police and soldiers to rescue the victim shortly after we heard the news of his kidnap. After following their kidnap plot, we arrested the three men before handing them over to the police. They have begun giving confessional statements. Okay, lovelies, and this is basically it for you all. This is all the information we have regarding this news for now. And if there is any updates, we will definitely keep you guys updated. Now, this is a very good move from the Amotekun Corps, but this is very terrible. The Fulanese has graduated from cow, to, from their cow rearing to kidnapping not just kidnapping they do a lot of atrocities in the country and do you know what baffles me the most is that it's not only in nigeria that the fulani is rare cow but i don't know why they have grown so much wings in nigeria that they believe they can do anything they like they believe they can terrorize anybody and nobody can do anything about it all because they have someone in power and the federal government will see all these headlines and they will not say anything this one is the one that kills me the most like the federal government has not issued a statement one day concerning this all these things we hear about the Fulani hexmen. But if you're to be another ethnic group in the country, before under 24 hours, you will, you will hear them giving order. You will hear them issuing statements. But every day we bring this news, every day we, we report about this ugly incident happening in Nigeria, the federal government will do nothing. So tell me, are we still one in this country? I will still warn my people. Now, it's not only about the Boko Haram now. The Fulani Hellsmen are becoming more deadly and dangerous than the Boko Haram in the country. So, upon all these things then, the federal government will not proscribe them. The federal government will not prosecute them. They've not been arrested by the federal government for once. We've seen their carrying gun all over the country. The Fulani Hellsmen we see in other countries, they carry sticks. Even the ones we used to know in Nigeria before, they carry sticks. But in Nigeria now, under this Fulani government, the Fulani Hellsmen are known with AK-47. And the federal government have not questioned them once. If they know they are not behind them, they have not questioned them, ah, where are you getting all these guns from? Where are you getting all these weapons from? No. But if it will be other peaceful ethnic group in the country who are asking for their freedom, I hope the Biafran people have not committed 
have caught her of the atrocities that the Fulani herdsmen has committed in that country. But yet, they are proscribed every day. They are being persecuted, they are being arrested, they are being murdered, they are being killed like chicken in the country. And I ask, like before, are we still one? I have said it before, in the 21st century, it shouldn't be by force for people to stay together. These people, they feel they are no longer needed in a country where you said you are one with them. And they have decided to go. And some people will come to my comment section and say, hey, in Africa, we need to be united. Do you need the whole world to be united? You can be in your own country and relate to others. You can be in your own country and work with others. You don't need the whole world to be united. If it is like that, why is the whole African continent not one country? If we must stay with the Fulani terrorists to be united. Ah, these people are tired of the ill-treatment and they want to go. They can be in their own country and relate with the other, whoever they wishes to relate with. That is not a problem. But is that why they should be killed? Because they are fighting for freedom? I, I'm not needed. Then now, let me go. You will not let me go. Let me have peace. You will not let me have... Oh yeah, give me what belongs to me. That one is another problem. It is very terrible, the kind of situation we have found ourselves in Nigeria. Even the people that we call leaders, the ones that are supposed to be protecting their people, has become slaves under the Fulani Caliphate. No action, no pain, no remorse. For all these things you see happening to your people on a daily basis, the people you are there to serve, the people you are there to protect, the people you are supposed to fight for, then you see them being killed, being murdered, and you will come out to say rubbish. The other, they are head roachers or culture saying, eh, now the canoe is leading us to another Biafra war for killing two. Okay, they killed. Let's, let's just say, okay that they killed even two policemen. As they have alleged, is it anything compared to what these people have done in the eastern part of Nigeria? Even though we did not see the people or evidence of the people they said the IPO people killed that day, but we saw the dead bodies of the IPO members they killed that day on, on ground. We saw the dead bodies everywhere when the Fulani soldiers opened fire on peaceful people who are just on their own, who are just doing their own thing. And you came out to say, eh, Nam the Kano is leading us to another Biafra war on two people who you are just told. You did not see them with your eyes, or oh. they only told you that, yes, two people were killed. What about the people you saw with your own eyes? <laughs> there is God, that place you think you are today. You may not be there forever. A lot have died though. All these cabals that have died already now. If you tell them, somebody like Kaba Kiari, if you tell him that by this time he will not be here today, he will not believe you. He may bet it with all his life because he has the power, he has the money, but today he is nowhere to be found. You may be superior to human being, but you are not superior to God. One day, every one of us are expected to go back to our creator and give account of how we have lived our lives on the surface of the earth. So don't think it is all about the money you have now or the powers because when the time comes, these things may not be able to save you. And this is basically it for you all. The Amotekun groups, they have done absolutely well. And I think if maybe other states will adopt this style, in no due time, all this nonsense will be eradicated. But because the other leaders are still sleeping, and I pray that before they wake up, it will not be too late for them. And this is basically it for you all. I've come to the end of this video. And I would like to hear from you on the comment section. Let me know what you think. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you for watching to this point of this video. Your love, your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. So let me know what you think. And with that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.